questions. Can you tell me you're ready, Coach? Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, hey, really uh, excited to start the season off uh, 1-0. Uh, that was one of our goals to win the opener. Uh, we knew it hadn't happened around here in a few, uh, few years. I think 2008 was the last time. So that was definitely um, one of our goals to do. And I think the team played well. You know, we weren't without opening day uh, mishaps here and there. Uh, but I'm just proud of the guys. And I'm going to start with special teams. We were very solid in the kicking game, which you have to be. Uh, first game, you're utilizing a lot of different personnel in those different kicking units, uh, whether it's kickoff coverage, punt coverage, uh, all those areas. And I think our guys stepped up and did a, a very solid job. Um, offensively, uh, I think we played well. At times, we had, we had a few too many three and outs. Um, the fourth quarter was, was a, a different type of fourth quarter, and we were always starting off backed up inside the five, it seemed like, multiple times. Um, but a few too many three and outs. But I like the big plays. We had a lot of big plays, and I think we were three, uh, I call them off-the-fingertip throws from maybe a couple more scores doing that. And I think that's just some fine-tuning we need to, to adjust in our, in our passing game. Um, shifting gears to the defense, I'll tell you what, we're really impressed with our defense. Uh, how they stepped up. You talk about the saying, bend but don't break. I think that was the epitome of bend but don't break tonight because uh, they did nickel and dime us and, and, and throw outs and quick passes here and there and, and, and drove down. But once they hit inside our five yard line, we uh, just built a wall and, uh, and held them out and defended them. And, and uh, their, their fourth down conversion, they had more fourth down attempts in this game than uh, multiple games. But our defense did an outstanding job standing up. And that just says a lot. I think it's a lot of, about a uh, Spartan spirit and about a, a fighting spirit. Never quit, never give up. And, and that's what I want to have as a trademark, a characteristic of our program. We're always competing. And uh, our guys didn't hang their heads with some long plays and that Sacramento State made. And we kept fighting, we kept battling, we kept competing. And as long as you're doing those things, you're in every game. And uh, that's what we are. And, and we'll go back to the drawing board and watch the film, and there'll be some things we can clean up. But all in all, it's nice to start out 1-0 and uh, start out with a shutout. And uh, it's an exciting first step for our program. With that, I think I'll uh, open it up to questions. For, for David, uh, you know, not your normal percent, completion percentage that he's used to. But it looked like he was looking for those deep balls of big plays. And like you said, you yeah. just missed a few. Is that kind of what you saw? Yeah, the question was about percentage and David and, and a couple of those things. And we did take some deep shots, as we say. Uh, we wanted to do that. We wanted to go after them. And, uh, yeah, we had a couple. We were off mark, uh, whether the receiver slipped coming out of the break or, or we overthrow. But I think those are – the good thing is those guys were open. And the good thing is we're, our, our, our concepts are working against different multiple types of coverages. And the guys are there, and I think we'll just go back and fine tune. And you know, it's it's day one, it, game one rather. And, and my thing with the guys, it's not it's not always how you start out, but but how you finish. And I think over the course of a season, we just want to continue to get better and better. So that's an area that uh, yeah, there's there's after tonight, we can continue to grow. I know David said that you know, he's, as he's gained some arm strength, that he surprised himself a little bit with with some of the balls he's thrown. Do you think maybe that's a little bit of a factor that he's maybe trying to get used to his arm strength because there were some overthrows there? You know, I would say that it's worked in practice well. We've been, we've been hitting some big plays in our practice, and whether it's against the defense or the, the look team, the scout team, um, simulating the opponent, and uh, we've been down the field, and you got to take shots and make big plays, and that's part of our philosophy. I like to go for, for big plays. And uh, we, uh, some you hit, some you don't, and uh, we'll just fine tune that. But uh, it's good to see. I think right now people watching us are seeing a team that um, we're, we're all over the field. We can attack multiple areas of the field, 53 yards wide and, uh, you know, 100 yards deep. Uh, and we attack those areas. So um, we need to continue and, and grow in those areas. First game, what was, uh, what was it like being out there? Uh, just impressions of your first game coaching here. Uh, the first game for me uh, as a head Spartan coach, it was really exciting for me going out there. Uh, 
just uh, it means a lot having grown up in this area and, and uh, having so much support from my wife and my, my three sons and family members and friends in the community. Uh, it, it just was, was personally a, a lot of fun and a lot of excitement uh, to uh, step out there and, and I did feel it. I did feel it uh, before kickoff. I felt the excitement, the enthusiasm, the energy in the air and uh, you know it's just something I'll, I'll always remember and uh, you know we, we want to uh, we want to have uh, sustained success here and, and uh, so we want to keep, keep uh, playing at a high level and continue to further improve the remainder of the season. Uh, you yes. said, or go ahead. Oh. I was going to jump over the defense, sorry. Yeah. I wanted to jump over the defense. Um, Anthony Larson came back from what was some people may have thought was he would never have been able to do. In your opinion, how was it to have him back, and what does it kind of mean maybe to the Spartan team to have him back on the field? Well, oh, I, I tell you, that is just a great, uh, inspiring story. Anthony Larson. Uh, a guy who six months ago, eight months ago, we didn't know if he'd ever play football, if he'd even be able to return to school, and very concerned about his long-term health. It is an inspiring story, a young man who, who just wouldn't give up on his comeback, and he is inspirational to his football team. Uh, he is a, a fun, excitable young man, so his energy that he brings to the table is contagious, as I say, and it's so good to have him. It's such a neat story. Anthony Larcival, uh, for our young guys to see that, a guy who just keeps competing and having fun. And Anthony is, um, just likes to tell the guys how he, he takes things, he's so thankful for where he's at, for the help that he has now. And I think that sends a good message to the young guys. Never, never take anything for granted and, and always have an attitude of gratitude. Do you think that that will have an effect on how the entire team will play this season? Uh, I tell you what, every uh, outstanding season, I believe there's stories. There's, there's, there's strong stories, outstanding stories of, of people overcoming things and, and things that happen. And, and yes, that could be a, cor a, a key story about the success of this program. You look at an Anthony Larcival, and, and there's a few other ones, but uh, yeah, very well could. You lost Tyler early in this game. Um, Jason Simpson stepped up, and I mean, the more yards tonight than he's had. Well, it's it's nice to know in your program we have a saying when one guy goes down, another Spartan steps up, and, and Jason did, and, and, and that wasn't surprising to me. Jason Simpson had a very good fall camp, and there's nothing more uh, as a coach you like to see than a, a fifth-year senior who maybe has kind of had a, a tough career, ups and downs, and maybe not seen the field, but to finish strong as a senior and go out uh, go out on a high note. And, and uh, so while it's very unfortunate, Tyler, he's such a weapon, uh, we can use him in so many different ways. Uh, it's so nice to see Jason Simpson step up and just have a, a, a solid game for us. And, and we knew he, we could. We saw it during fall camp. But it's nice to be able to do that uh, in a game situation. Any update on Urban? Not at this point. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, do some x-rays and, and go and see regarding Tyler. Take one yeah. more question. Do you have to do anything this week, different coach, for your game against Stanford next week, mentally, physically, for your players to get ready to play? So, Top five team in the country. Oh, definitely. They're a, a physical football team. They're, they're, uh, they, they play multiple linemen. They bring them in, play at the tight end position, and they just, in today's day and age of spread offenses with multiple wide receivers, they do the exact opposite. They line up uh, multiple people, and their power run game is as good as there is, and they just say, we're going to maul you, and they try and tell you that with right up front with their, their people they send in the game. So, yeah, we have to be – it's going to be a very physically challenging game, um, but one our players are very much looking forward to. Coach, uh, with your outside linebackers, uh, Sean Bacon and Eugene Taylor, they played a big role today. I noticed that not only were they uh, rushing the quarterback, they were dropping back in coverage. So how are you going to use them next week against Stanford? Because they are going to do a power run. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I'll back up uh, losing Vince at that position. We lose a four-year starter, Vince Buhajer. And it's nice to see those guys step up. Uh, you know, uh, um, Sean Bacon had a nice game tonight, from what I understand. And then Eugene Taylor, a redshirt freshman, um, stepped up and played solid. He's an athletic guy. He can play in space well. He can drop. He can rush the passer. So I was real encouraged um, uh, what those guys did tonight. And we're just going to watch the film and, and build from it. Okay. We're going to start with the guys okay. here. Coach, thanks. Great. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Okay.
know you take a lot of pride in, in your special teams coming off the edge there. Uh, you know, what what do you, you know, what do you see in, in, in that role, and what do you see on, on the play being able to come in and get there? And, and um, I just feel that you know I have to make plays for, for the team and everything. Come off and being a special teams player, and you know I have to be I have to be very smart in order to do that. So you know you got to keep working hard and the special teams, you know, in order to stay on the field. We had a couple people and you had a, a, a nice tackle on our kick coverage. At, um, last year, Damon Ogram was kind of a special teams ace on this team. You, you guys are without him right now. Do you kind of feel like? Uh, Maybe uh, yeah, it's your turn to step up and be that guy. Yeah, definitely. So you got to keep working. Uh, when they come back, he, you know he's probably gonna uh, he's probably gonna be on the other side and everything. So you know I just gotta keep you know keep working. Yeah, I know all around the building you guys have the you know, special team signs up, but you know it, it, just talk to me about what what you know kind of relationship you guys have in terms of the special teams and. What, what it's like being a part of that special teams unit? Um, the relationship we have with that is, um, you know, we all, we all just, we, we all, we all is one unit. So um, we take pride in this, you know, being on special teams. So, you know, like it ain't nobody else, like nobody is out, like everybody wants to be on the field. So, um, you know, I just, I had to step up today, you know, in order to, Team. Okay, questions for Benet. You had your 10th interception in your career tonight, and you were very, very close to getting a few more. What kind of strategies do you have, I guess, when you're going up for the ball? Um, not really strategies, just listening to coaches, understanding uh, the plays, and understanding, uh, watching film, knowing what the other opponent's going to do. So, uh, watch a lot of film, understand what they're going to do, and puts me in a position to make those plays. Offense kind of stuff a little bit early. Uh, you guys at the defense, uh, you guys see what's going on there and say, hey, let's let's try to make some plays and put them in a good position? Always. Regardless if they're stumbling or not, we always want to make plays and give the ball to offense. We know that our offense is going to get clicking. We have faith in our offense uh, just because they didn't have the ex excellent game as we're used to them having tonight. Um, we know that they're going to put points on the board, so that's all we want to do is get them the ball back. With the uh, aggressive hybrid defense that uh, Henrik Thompson's running this year, there's going to be a lot of pressure on the cornerbacks. Does that make you want to step up just because you're going to be on the island sometime? Uh, everybody steps up. It's always so uh, every time I just want to step up and make plays. So is everybody else on the defense, regardless of corners, linebackers, D linemen. They can get a sack. That's a big help. Anytime you can get a sack or force from anything. So everybody just has the opportunity to make plays in this defense. Yeah. Seemed like you played with you know, moments where you guys played with a good sense of urgency. They never they got down close to scoring. You guys really stepped up. It. Is that something that you guys really you know, focus on? Hey, you know, let's, let's forget this last play that they got eight yards on or whatever, and, and let's make sure we keep them off the board. Yeah, definitely. Make sure we put the pass in the past, and we play for each play now, each game. So within each game, we play for each series, and each play. So that's what we did. How's it feel to uh, come out the home opener and uh, pitch a shutout? Uh, Feels crowd. awesome. Yeah. What do you have to do to beat Stanford now next week? Uh, just watch a lot of film, focus in, coaches know what you're talking about, make sure to listen to coaching, and uh, understand that uh, Stanford is a different type of physicality of the type of team. So we need to make sure we play aggressive and hard and make sure that we play physical and match their intensity. Thank you. Seems like a little bit of maybe some first game jitters, uh, you know, smoke throws. And what what what'd you see out there tonight, and, and what you kind of think of the performance overall? No, uh, just yeah, it's just little stuff. We we had uh, like three or four plays that could have been big plays. How do we just little stuff at fingertips? That's what we're saying. Um, so that's that's good because that stuff. It's easy to fix, it's easy to adjust. So we recognize it and we'll work on it and it's just little stuff, so. I, I know you told me that, you know, kind of with, as you gain some on strength, there's been some balls and you've been a little bit surprised at how far they've gone. Is, is, is that any, any factor there that maybe you, um, you know? You 
fall. Uh, no, no. Um, we've, been, we've been working on fall. We got timing down. Um, they came out and did a little bit of different stuff than we expected. They kind of pressed us and played man, and, and uh, it was just a little different. We got to adjust. Um, they did a good job, and um, it's, it's, again, it was just a little stuff. We are a couple plays away from some really big plays. It seemed like you guys were spent a lot of time going for the home run ball. You tacking down the field maybe a little bit more than last year. Is that is that what uh, kind of the game plan was to, to try to really get some big plays? Yeah, we want to. We didn't get to everything because of what they did, what they were playing that man and they were blitzing, and they didn't come out a lot of stuff we expected. So, but they did. They also did some of the same stuff. But um, we didn't get to all of our big shots we wanted to. But we did. We did take shots on the field, and, and those were a couple plays that we did miss. Um, but it's easy stuff. It was just little timing and. And we'll get it fixed. Is that something you enjoy, the fact that you guys are, are trying to go for those big plays? Yeah, definitely. We got the receivers to run down there and go get them, and, and they're going to make the plays. Um, Jason Simpson stepped up big time when, when Tyler went down. What was it like to get that kind of a running record? Uh, we know what kind of player he is and uh, what he can do and, and his potential. So. It's nice to finally see him out there on the field doing it, and, and him, you could, you could kind of see where he got his confidence. He was hitting the hole and running the lower's pads, and, and that's exciting because he definitely has potential, and, and, and he's going to be really good. Davis, a game like this, can wanting to win and show as little of your playbook as possible personally? Uh, no, we weren't looking back. We were focusing on Sac State. We were just trying to get a week one win the game. Um, they did. We didn't get to everything just because of what they came out in. And uh, but no, we're we we respect the sex day and we're coming out to win. You know, overall the offense probably didn't play as well as you guys would like, but is this a performance you kinda just you, you take the win and, and you make the little adjustments you need to and, and are overall yeah, pretty satisfied? It was good. We know on offense that it was little stuff, fingertips. How do we made those fingertips? Offense would have done great. But Running back, um, Lion did a great job of picking up. I think I got sacked once on a rollout, so they, they did a, the Lion did a great job of picking up. They do a lot of different blitzes and, and different looks, so and all the Lion did a great job of communicating, picking everything up, and uh, the running backs too. Jerry Lawson stepped up when when Tyler got hurt, and uh, Jason Simpson definitely stepped up too. So um, yeah, they did a great job. Does Stanford excite you a little more uh, this year, given what happened last year? All right, um, we were excited last year, but yeah, after how we lost to them last year, we definitely get a little, uh, I would say, more pumped up for them and looking forward to playing them. So we're, we're ready and we definitely remember. Thank you. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to say. So. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you.